This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is a Yale Dimple Rim Cylinder. This lock was sent to me by Pete Restall in the UK. So Pete, thank you again for all the great locks you sent my way. I have four keys that go with this. You can see we have some, some okay bidding, some really high ones, some really low ones. We're gonna see what it takes to pick into this lock, and then of course I will take it apart and show you what's inside. Okay, using a Z-bar in the side there, and then I will go down the pin stack looking for binders. Nothing on one, two, click out of three, nothing on four, five, or six. Pulling back, it looks like I stuck on one, got a click out of him. Nothing on two, three, click out of four, five, nothing on six, nothing on one, two, three, four, there we go, four put us into a false set. Nothing on five and getting some counter rotation on six. And that's all it took. We're open. Okay, let's take this guy apart and see what's inside. Okay, looks like we have a couple of Phillips screws in the back. Since we do have a key, we can lock him back up. And let's get these screws out. follower. Hopefully this will come apart smoothly. Okay, no problems there. Let's dump these key pins out. One is standard. So is two, three, four, five, and six. Let me arrange those and then we will get the driver pins out. Okay, let's see what the driver pins look like. One is standard, looks like a steel anti-drill pin. Two is a spool. Three looks like another steel anti-drill pin. Four is a spool. Then another steel anti-drill pin. And then six is a spool as well. Doesn't look like anything unusual down the core or in here. Okay, let me, uh, let me give you a close-up of all of this. Okay, looking at the pins for this Yale dimple rim cylinder, it looks like all of the key pins are standard. And then in slots one, three, and five, we have steel anti-drill pins, standard for drivers. And then the drivers in two, four, and six are spools. Moving over to the core, you can see it's a six pin core, and I don't see anything particularly unusual about this. Okay, that's all I have for you on this lock. Pete, thank you once again for all of the locks you sent my way. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.